Welcome to September's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is bulls and cows. You are playing the following bulls and cows game with your friend. You write down a number and ask your friend to guess what the number is. Each time your friend makes a guess, you provide a hint indicating how many digits in the guess match your secret number exactly in both digit and position. Those are called bulls. And how many digits match the number but are located in the wrong position. Those are called cows. So, for example, if we're given the number 1807 and we're given the guess 7810, we have one bull because the 8 is the right position and digit, and we have three cows because we have 107 and 710. We have the right digits, but they're in the wrong position. If they don't match at all, then we don't return anything, and so on and so forth. So, this problem is a little trickier than I expected, but the straightforward approach uh, works fine here. What I'm going to do is convert both our secret and guess into a list, a list of digits. And what I'll do is go through each position and check to see if the, both the position and the digit match. If they do, then I will pop that digit off of the secret and guess and increase our bull counter. Once that's finished, I should have the leftover digits. And these are the possible cows, right? Because maybe they're the right digit, but they're in the wrong position. We already know they're in the wrong position for sure. So what I'll do now is create a counter object and just go through our guess and see if any of these digits are in the count, in the counter object. If they are, then we'll increase our, bull, our, our cow count and we'll decrease the counter. All right, so uh, first thing I'll do is initialize bull and cow, both as zero, and I'm gonna convert our secret and our guess into a list. So what I'll do, I'll just call that S, we'll say list for secret and for guess, I'll call that G, list for guess. Now, this part was a little bit trickier. Uh, what I want to pop off uh, the, the digits if they're in the right position for both the, both the secret and the guess, right? So what I'll do here is initialize two variables, I and J. I'll say while I is less than the length of secret or guess, it doesn't matter because we can assume they're going to be the same length. We'll say if the SI is equal to gi, uh, what will we do? We'll pop it off. Um, so we'll pop it off of both i and, and g, or s and g. But the thing is, because I'll be popping it off while I go through this loop, I need to make sure I'm in the right position. So what I have to do here is actually use this j object. I'll increase our bool by one. Whoops. And I'll increase our, oops, our j counter by one as well. Uh, because actually no we don't do that we will do that only if they don't match we'll increase our j counter if they don't match then we know we can move ahead in our j counter and we'll always move ahead for our i counter so that we'll get through the entire list all right so now we have all the bulls um, and now we have two lists that have the numbers which were not in the right position right so all that is required now is what i'll do is create a counter object using the s and this is going to be all the numbers and the number of them inside that are correct right so for the mm, let's say l in for the letter in our guess g if this l is in the count object and the count number for this um, character is greater than zero, then we'll increase our cow and we'll decrease our count L by one, just to make sure that we don't um, reuse any of those. So once that's it, we have both our bulls and cows, so we can just return a string. Uh, what I'll do is use the format string. I'll say how many bulls, how many cows, and we'll say bull, cow. Let's make sure this works. Uh, looks like I got an index out of range. So I hmm. I guess this needs to be a J, and that makes sense because I'm popping these off, right? Yeah, so I guess that needs to be a J. That's my mistake. And it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that and accept it. All right. So this approach um, is O of n. Uh, and also probably uses O of n time complexity as well, which is fine. Um, like the real big 
part here is figuring out that we have to use some sort of hash object to check to see if our digits are inside of our secret but not in the right position. Uh, there's definitely better approaches to this. This is definitely not the best one, but it works. I think it's pretty understandable, so I'm just going to go with that. So thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.